Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you what I've done with my game from the last episode. So this week I added some graphics to the game and I hope you like them. So you can definitely see the area has changed a lot. First step was uh, obviously knowing what I want. So I wanted some kind of a closed up map. Not too big but not also not too small. And I wanted the style to be kind of medieval, viking, knight, so, like battle stuff thing. You know, I don't even know, I can't explain that, but I, but I have it in my head. So once I knew the theme, I searched around Google for some images of, let's say, medieval map, uh, medieval arenas. And then I kind of got inspired. I could make this uh, kind of... Like this little arena in, in, in kind of a small island. So I went with floating islands because, well, I, I'm not creative. But, you know, I added a few of them and I kind of like, like, like the looks. This is definitely going to have to be fixed. Um, but this is just for testing, testing uh, for now. So once I got that... I started blocking out uh, things. I knew I wanted it, I wanted it to be kind of um, fenced out. So first thing I did is I created a fence, and then I placed a this uh, arena in here, and added some stairs to it. And then obviously it was looking it was looking a bit plain, and I needed needed to add some details. So I ad added these walls, which made it look quite nice. But then uh, in the middle, just to, to just to add some uh, detail, I added this brazier. Brazier. I, I added the fire thing. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce it. Brazier. I wanted that low poly style, so I went with this. Then I started adding in some um, more details by adding these uh, crates and chests and barrels. So I put some everywhere. As you can see, there's one here, there, there are a few here, there's some here, there's some here. Um, so I put them everywhere. And then what I wanted to do, I wanted to make it seem more alive. So I added weapons and kind of chairs and uh, benches to make it seem like there were people here. So there are a few swords and shields lying around. There's some chairs around the campfire. There's even a, kind of this food rack here that you can hang food on. And I added that uh, to a few places. You can see there's a bench here. I added another kind of camp here with an X. And I think there's one more up here where I added also some uh, some bottles, uh, which, which should have been wine in here. Uh, hopefully it looks like wine, I don't know. And there's just no fire here, because why not? And uh, I also added weapons to like crates, so it makes it seem like somebody was fighting in here already. So there's some weapons uh, just laying around. I could add more, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. There's an axe here. And then just to add a little bit more detail, I added these rocks, which I just put on this one place, so now it looks weird. But uh, I should probably place them around the edges of the arena also, but I can do that later. But this definitely doesn't look, does not look finished. That's why I'm making this video. I want you guys to help me uh, say what you would uh, add to this arena. Say what, what might be missing. Uh, definitely some kind of grass, but I'm, ca I'm having a bit of trouble with that because this is not a terrain. It's a custom mesh and uh, I'm not that advanced. I could copy paste the script, but I could I could copy paste the script for uh, custom meshes, placing grass on custom meshes, but then it's not really it. Uh, so I want you guys to say like, what what should I add? Maybe some trees, more rocks, uh, more some details. If you know any props that could work in this kind of area, definitely suggest that down in comments. And um, yeah, hopefully you like what I did here. And hopefully you can help me out. I appreciate all the help. And leave a like on the video. Also subscribe. And also go follow me on uh, on my social media. There's links for that in the description. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.